prized native species. All right, so I'll just take the opportunity to bag this. There's a growing illegal market for Australian snakes and lizards, and DNA is proving a vital tool for proving a reptile's provenance. If you take them from the wild um, and you don't have the appropriate licence, then you're committing an offence. And carpet pythons are the same, same as a carnivorous black cockatoo, they're both endangered and it's $10,000 fine. Where wildlife officers would once have needed to take a scale clipping from each seized reptile to get its DNA, the team has pioneered a simpler mouth swabbing technique that doesn't scar the animal. It's not invasive. Two or three minutes, we're out the door and we'll be able to tell you one way or the other whether you really bred it. So far, the team has secured 15 DNA results, proving birds and snakes were stolen from the wild or illegally imported. But the evidence is yet to be contested in court in WA because so far in every case the accused has pleaded guilty. There have been many cases which have gone to court involving wildlife DNA but as far as I'm aware there haven't been any which have actually gone to appeal or someone's defended themselves. They've said you've got the DNA, you've got the proof, I've done it. To go out that we now have the DNA tools available to assist in investigations. I think people are a little scared about DNA and you know what, so they should be because it's very powerful. Maybe the edge was with the nest robber or the illegal taker, now I'd suggest you the edge is with us.